Hi, today we're going to talk about fluid calcula calculations. And I um, use this acronym to help remember it, run DMC. So D equals deficit, M equals maintenance, and C equals continuing losses. So let's talk about deficit. Deficit is the percent of the animal's dehydration. Okay. We, can't, we think about the dehydration and there are numbers that we use to subjectively decide how dehydrated they are. So five to six percent, these are sluggish skin tent. So when you lift this uh, skin up over the shoulder blades, it goes down, but it goes down rather slowly. At seven to nine percent, there's a skin tent that you do. It does not go down as quickly. Usually takes about three seconds for it to go back down over the shoulder blades. They have tacky mucous membranes and they are slightly sunken eyes. At 10 to 12 percent, this has an extremely delayed skin tent. It may not even go back down. You may have to pet the animal to get it go, to go back down. They have a long cap refill time over three seconds. They have dry mucous membranes and they have sunken eyes. Uh, you will definitely see um, how sunken their eyes are if they are 10 to 12 percent dehydrated. At 13 to 15 percent dehydrated, again a really long cap refill time. They, tend, they come in unresponsive and you need to be aware that death is imminent. So how do we calculate this deficit? Well, we take their weight in kilograms, we times it by the percent that they are dehydrated, and then we times that by 1,000 mLs. And that will give us the deficit mLs that they need to be replaced. So we have a seven kilogram dog down here. He is 8% dehydrated. Okay, so I'm gonna take that 8%, then I'm gonna times it by 1,000. So I'm gonna change the percent into a decimal, so 7 kilograms times 0 0.08 times 1,000, and that's going to give me 560 mLs. So now why don't you guys try to do that on your own? 15 kilograms times 10% times 1,000. So next we're going to calculate maintenance. So maintenance is what you would just give a dog or a cat just if you needed to give fluids. This is what they need to survive, okay? In our clinic here at our Clinic Globe, we use 60 ml per kig per day. So if I ask you to calculate out a deficit um, and the replacement fluids they need, this is going to always be your constant, the 60 ml per kig per day. Now how we calculate it out is we take the weight in kilograms, we times it by 60 ml per kg per day, and that will give us our maintenance rate. Pretty simple. So we're going to take our 7 kgs times 60 ml per kg per day, and that is going to give us 420 ml. So now you do your number, 15 kg times 60 ml, and what number does that come up to be? Now the last part of our run DMC equation is C, and this is continuing losses. Generally this is calculated by the veterinarian. He may say that you have 150 uh, mLs per day of continuing losses. Continuing losses take into account vomiting, diarrhea, if they're not drinking, um, how much they're urinating. Okay. You can also see it as a 15 mL per hour. If you see it as 15 mL per hour, you're going to need to times it by 24 hours to get your amount per day. So that's 360 mL per day. So this equation that we've been going through, our deficit was 560 mL, our maintenance was 420 mL, and our continuing losses is 360 mL. We're going to add those all together. We're going to come up with 1,340 mL. And this is our total replacement amount of fluids that is needed over 24 hours. So you go ahead and calculate out yours, which we've been doing, the um, deficit, the maintenance. And we're going to say that your patient has a continuing loss of 150 mL. Now over here, 
one more time just to make sure you guys get this. I want you to calculate out the fluid requirement needed for a five kg dog with a 6% deficit and continuing losses of five mLs per hour. Don't forget to times it by 24. Next, oh, my slides are going away. Drip factors. This is a competency question. You do need to know how to do drip factors in order to um, pass the, the competency test. So this is how I think of it. We have the total amount of fluid we need to infuse, so that's TV, total volume, and then this is by the drip factor. So the drip factor, this is, these come in different sizes, okay? Um, we have 10 drops per ml, 15 drops per ml, and 60 drops per ml. These are the standard ones that you're going to see, okay? So that's this drip factor. And then we do that over time. And I like to think of it like this. So TV makes you deaf over time. So that's a good way to try to remember how this uh, equation works. So we're gonna take our 1,340 ml and we're gonna times it by a 15 drop per ml uh, drop factor. Then we're gonna times that by time, so 60 minutes times 24, because we're trying to find out the total amount, we're using the total amount over the 24 hours. So that was gonna give us 20,100 over 1,440. We're gonna divide those two numbers, so our drip factor for a minute is going to be 13.96 drops per minute. So on the, um, when we use the, um, fluid set, it has drops, um, the drop down, so we're going to count for one minute 13.96 drops. The next part is to get to seconds, and all you need to do to get to seconds is take the 13.6 and divide it by 60, and then you're going to get 0 0.23 drops per second. Really hard to count drops per second, so the best thing to do is to times that drop per section by per second by 10. So 0 0.23 drops per second times 10. This is going to equal 2.32 drops per 10 seconds. So now I'd like you to do your two problems. I'd like you to do the first problem with a 15 drop set and the second problem with a 60 drop set. And our final one for today, this is your ticket into class. Your ticket into class is to calculate out the fluid deficit and replacement amounts over the next 24 hours for our 10 pound poodle. So a 10 pound poodle is 9% dehydrated and he has a continuing loss of 90 ml per day. I want you to calculate out that total ml needed to rehydrate it over the next 24 hours and I'd like you to use it with a 15 drop ML set. Thank you.